Hi, this is Josh Red Tech Spec, and today we're going to be looking at adding events in Google Calendar. So let's clip on over to Google Calendar. So adding events actually varies a little bit by what view you're in. So I'm currently in the week view, and in my opinion, week view is the easiest place place to do this. So there's a couple ways we could do this. You could come down here to the red button and click Create Event. And then by default, it's going to put um, whatever day you are clicked on in your calendar. Usually that's going to be today. But for example, um, I was clicked on March 18th. Uh, the current time is just before 1130. And the default time in Google Calendar is one hour. So let's say I'm going to switch this to it's going to actually start at noon. You notice it moves the back time. Um, and then as I come in here and change the ending time, it gives me a little synopsis of how many hours. So let's say this is going to be two hours, and I'm going to put in working team lunch. So I can do that and just click Save. And you'll notice here um, I have a working team lunch. When I click on it, uh, Google Calendar has put in this nifty little picture for me, um, and I'm ready to go. But uh, that's really, you know, that is a way to do it. It's not the way to do it. Let me show you how I prefer to do it. So for example, if I were going to schedule that same sort of working lunch, say here on Friday at 12 to 2, all I did was click out and drag. Let me do that again. So I click where I want to start, and then I drag. And as I drag, the uh, time length jumps by 15 minutes, you can see as I'm going. So let's say this is 12 to 2.15. So here I can type again, working lunch. And I could click save and I could be done. So there you are. But let's try that again and get a little bit more in depth this time. So let's do that again. And this time from 9 to 10.30, I'm going to say team meeting. Whoops, meeting. And now I'm going to click more options. So once I'm here, I have a lot of different things that I can do. So for starters, I'm going to add a location. So my office is uh, behind Barden Elementary. So I'm going to just type in the word Barden. And this is one of the things I love about Google Calendar is it will start to auto come. It pulls in data from Google Maps and it just will complete that for me. And you see it, it auto completes the address. And if, under the notes here, I could say EdTech Office, the Village, Room 3. Um, if I wanted to change the color and draw a specific color to this, I could select Event, a color. The calendar color will always be there, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. If I want to add guests, I would click here to add guests. And as I start to type, suggestions from our Google directory come up. So I'm going to invite Ben. I'm going to invite George. And then I'm going to click Save. Now, it says, ask me would I like to send invitations. Even if I don't send invitations, this will still appear as an invitation on their Google calendars. But I'm going to go ahead and click send. So you'll notice here that where it says team meeting, it has included on the little event block that where the location is. So I can go back here to the working lunch and I can see I have my little graphic. I can click on edit event in the pencil. And if I come here, let's say um, we're going to go to Eno's on South Main for lunch. All I have to do is start typing Geno's, and it just brings it up for me. So I'm going to click there in now, and then I click Save. So now I have an event, I have a location, and when I invite people, it will have theirs. But let's look at probably the most common other view people are in is month view. So now I'm looking at a month, and when I, I can, again, do the same thing, click Create Event, and I'll have the, all the options open to me. But I'm just going to click into a day. And you'll see it brings this it up as this bar, which means it's going to be an all-day 
all day event. And that is what is the default in month view. Anything you add will start it as an all day event. But is it an all day event? So now if I click time, suddenly it's going to ask me for a start and a stop time. So let's say this begins at 1.30 and it's going to put it in as 2.30. I could click on two and that's when I end it. And now I click save. If I wanted to add a location or guess, I could come in here and then click on the pencil and I could edit the event. So let's add, um, add Ben and George again. But now for this all day event, I maybe want to add a description. We will be discussing our new rollout. I can add some notes here, but this is another really cool feature about events is I can also add attachments. So if we were going to need certain things for um, for this event, if we're going to need certain materials out of our Google Drive, especially we can I can come in here to my drives. I can upload from my computer. Let's look at some recent things we've worked on. And then I can maybe we're going to work on the budget. And so I can add it and that now instead of having and what are going to be our new focus areas. So now when I save this, these things will be attached and I don't have to message them or notify them separately via email. I can just attach everything right to uh, the event and everyone can just go into their calendar and get all those things. So when I click now, here's the other cool thing. If those uh, two attachments were in Google Drive and weren't properly shared with Ben and George, Google Calendar would ask me, do you want to share it with those people? So I don't even have to go into Google Drive and separately, separately remember if everyone who's invited here has the attachment. So now I'm going to click Save. Do I want to send invitations? I'm going to go ahead and send them. Um, so that's, let's go back to, to Week View. So we have um, our working lunch here with our nice little picture. We have this here. We talked about how to add locations, how to um, invite folks. So for example, to the team meeting here, um, I have the, when I look at it, I have the location. It shows me who uh, I'm the organizer. So it shows me there who I've invited. Now when Ben or George say yes, that they're coming, there will be a little green check there. If they say maybe, there will be a question mark and there will be a circle slash um, if they say no. Um, I have notifications turned on for this, and this tells me whose calendar this is on. Um, in the week view, if I wanted to add an all-day event, I would just click up here and type in the name of the event. And now maybe I'm going to uh, add a location. So let's say this is at Hartnell College. So um, this would be the Alice Hall campus, which is right here next to Barden, or just Hartnell College and then click Save. Now notice in an all-day event, the location isn't displayed in this view. I would have to click on it to see where it was. So that's all-day events in both week view and month view, and then adding via the red plus or just using the click and drag that we can do. Now let's say our last thing is, oh, this working team lunch, that's on a Sunday. I'm not supposed to do this. What do I do if I need to get rid of an event? Well, I click on it, and then right here, there's a trash can that says delete event. And there you go, it's gone. So hopefully that tells you in another video, I will go over repeating events, how to schedule a repeating event. Um, but hopefully that tells you all the basics you need to know for adding just regular events in Google, Google Calendar. Happy Googling.